recording, but that's okay. That's what we have editing software for. I usually prefer either neutral, neutral, good characters. We do it my way. Let's shake a leg. I shall not falter. You're done for. I feel faint. Spells not working like that. Calm down. Not dead. I didn't even break a sweat. Gotta make him pragmatic. Oh yeah, we gotta choose a name. I'm tempted to say Dwarf 1, but no. <laughs> no, we have to give him an actual name. This I'll call him Terramel. Or Terramel. There we go. Come on, keyboard, don't you start messing up on me. at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Hmm. I'm sure you've seen this intro a million times by now. <laughs> Where are they? This is taking forever. They didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich folk? If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Everyone, I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Selimius of Restolf. Welcome to my mansion. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless, exactly what Restolf needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, None of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restolf would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? Mm, clear as day. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better, or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. 
You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage, the unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Resolve, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go, and return in triumph. Hi, my name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious, personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. Doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll write my book about. I'm no hero, just a mercenary. And what are you a mercenary for? Is it only riches? Or maybe you want glory, too? Don't you want your feats to be remembered and glorified for centuries? And just listen. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or, God forbid, Tartuccio? No way. What about the barbarian? She looks pretty heroic. I think some, her name's Amari? Yeah, she's fantastic. You can tell she could tear a bear's head off with her bare hands, but she kind of scares me just a little. But, I mean, her sword's twice as big as I am. She could cut me down without even noticing. Just think on it a bit, all right? I'm sure you'll agree. All right. I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. Hmm. <laughs> All according to plan. That's the spirit. It's my little fighter dwarf waddles across the floor. Waddle, 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 waddle. <laughs> What's going on? The mansion's under attack. We need to help. Some villains broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers or we'll all be cut down one by one. Enemy hey. approaching. And first off, let's make sure... Yes! Good. Shield and sword. Awesome. Time to beat your face, Ed! Nope, you're too close for that. This Time to beat it. your face, in. Eat sword! Ooh, but I will take your shit. Let's see, what did they start me out with? Scale mail? Okay, that's not bad, actually. 
fairly decent. Focus on the goal. All according to play. You guys can't hear it, but the lich is taking a shower while listening to Meta War, which is a really good metal band. Judge. You're just in time. A bit longer and I'd have been... Whew, I don't even want to think about it. Can you imagine what a terrible loss this would have been? But it's all right. Lady Jamandi is holding the line in the banquet hall. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies who are supposed to accompany us to the stolen land. Speaking of dummies... In due time... Okay. Our victory is certain. Advanced combat, yes, yes, sir. Calculated risk. God, can we retreat now? <laughs> yeah, Tartuccio can die. Nobody likes him. This spell doesn't work like that. Oh well. This was not supposed to happen. Excuse me while I do all the hard work. That is not far. Not really concerned about keeping you alive, but you know, I guess I have to for now. Ooh, what's this? Hide armor, heavy mace. which is medium so you can't use it Kitchen staff, too. What did the kitchen staff do? <laughs> Alrighty. Gonna loot and pillage basically everything here. Hey, look, it's the barbarian. I'm to smash face. Enemy approaching. should be what stupid sweaty and always looking for something to gobble up or lock the head off of Calistria save me from such heroes uh, that's kind of the point of adventures tartu show I know you're a slimy douchebag with douche nozzle but you know there they are the assassins
Power Attack is actually really good. For those of you who don't know what Power Attack is, is I suffer a little bit. I take away a little bit from my attack bonus to hit, but I get a bonus in damage. Particularly useful against bigger monsters, things like that. Applause, please. Ready for anything. On the banded mail, that'll help with my EC. Oh, familiar faces. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. It's me, Jathor. I don't recommend advancing down the hallway, assuming you value your life, of course. There were a few people with me, and you can see what happened to them. And just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have a scratch? I'll answer but briefly and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? Alright. I'm undead. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. What do you mean, undead? Really? Like, zombies or skeletons or...? Lends you adorable little girl. No, 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 she's, said, <laughs> she doesn't have time to answer that right now. ...will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side, and we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. Yep. Straightforward and to the point. Follow my lead. Interesting. Get to it, Lindsay. Applause, please. Yay, trap. See something. Trap finders and disarmers. That's what bards and rogues are really good for. I'm sorry. Anything else? Which is funny because most of the parties I've actually played in any role-playing game, we've never had one rogue. <laughs> No, I take that back. We've had a rogue, but it was played by a 14-year-old kid who is convinced that all rogues ever do is steal shit. <laughs> so... Jeez! I just exploded the living crap out of that guy's poor body. You deserved it. You cannot stand against me. This spell doesn't work like that. It's not a spell, it's an attack. I'll turn off power attack for now. Don't really need it at this point. They're just some bandits. They're not really something to worry about here. Yeah, power attack is especially useful when you're up against big, tough monsters with low AC. Grotus, I can sense your silhouette hovering over me. I'm dying. 
I knew this expedition was doomed. That's impossible. <coughs> oh, it, uh, it seems you might be right. Yeah, it, uh, it seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god, not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Arim is at your service. That is right. not far. Anything interesting in this direction? No? Okay. You, run and get an axe. You, bring more water. You, stay here and hold on to... Aha! Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. Keston, House Gares, a fighter in the service of Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori. Right now, I'm in charge of the mansion guards. As you can see, there's a lot to do. What's going on here? Open the gate. Let in a group of assassins in the middle of the night. Now they've set the mansion on fire to cut off access to the hall. They don't want Lady Jamande to get reinforcements. We cleared the passage so you can get through. Just try to avoid inhaling the smoke. We'll be right behind you. We just need to put out the fire first to save the mansion. Where's the hall? We'll run through the fire. We've almost put it out at the entrance, so your main concern should be to not inhale any smoke. Hold your breath and take the first right, then head straight down the hallway. I'll go immediately. I'll keep you safe. Gods keep us safe indeed, my friend. We drenched ourselves in a bucket of water. Covered our nose and mouths and before we rushed inside. Save the guards! As it should be. Now, just for the sake of saying screw you to Tartuccio, that obnoxious twerp. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I haven't told Lich anything that happens after this simply for the fact because he refuses to know anything. He wants to go in blind. So, he's even been avoiding watching some of his favorite YouTubers. To not know what happens after he hit the point he's at. Because he is a true rule player. You cannot stand against me. Which I try to be from a good time of it. This used to be such a terrible fight, now I'm a fighter, I'm just wrecking their faces. Alright, who wants face wrecked? Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought, there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. Lady Aldori, please, I know who arranged this attack. 
the vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing! You think I wouldn't recognize Iroveti's seal? That's why he wasn't killed. The bandits recognized him as one of their own by this sealed ring. What singing ring? What are you Let talking me, about? I saw it with my own eyes. The ring must be in his pocket. Search him and I'm sure. Enough, Tartuccio. I'm still the one giving orders here. We won't be searching anyone. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. I bet my life despise anyone but this man. I saw how he dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior, I'd go with him through hell and high water. This purple crook on the other hand... <laughs> He's got the eyes of a spy! And the mug of a spy! Oh, you ever faithful, beautiful barbarian. Lady Aldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed his true colors. He forced us to break into the armory and rob it. Forgive me for my trespass. In my defense, we were in the middle of a battle and in dire An need of weapons. An attack is no reason to break into rooms in someone else's house and pocket their property. Lady, we're about to die. That was a sound decision. Sometimes one must act at one's own risk and peril until crossing the boundaries of what is allowed. Showing initiative is no crime. It is insane when faced with death to stop and question whether you may be breaking some law or rule. Even more insane would be to ask forgiveness for making the right decision. Sorry, but your words display a lack of wisdom. What about that trick he He knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of- Really, Cartuccio? You're seriously trying to blame someone for saving people from a fire? May Shellen spare me from ever having to make such a choice, but he behaved decently as a true leader. Mm. A true leader is someone who has their priorities straight, not someone who would put a valuable ally's life in danger for the sake of some servant. Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the stolen land. Lady yes, ma'am. Most of those who were to set off for the stolen lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go, and may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? If my leader allows, I would join his team. He seems a worthy commander in my eyes. Yeah! Commanders, military leaders, all these laws and rules are but dust and vanity. I suppose I will accompany Tortuccio. Our leader is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. I prefer those who can act without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. Those like Tartuccio. Ugh. Tartuccio is going to take the credit for himself and be done with it. Shellen, spare me from such allies. I'm going with you. You're a hero worthy of my quill. I would say something, but I'm trying to honor the lich who is right behind me, who is trying to go in blind. All right. <laughs> we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactus Crossing. The garrison commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. 
If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive me this precaution. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events, and learn who in Restal is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertova may also interfere in our plans. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be pointless. And now, Understood. farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restal. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. Surviving a terrible night, our small team set off to brave our fate. Beware, stolen lands. Heroes are on the way. Here we go. some of these I don't need this right you can't put stuff on in the middle of the battle it'd be nice if your enemy would be like hang hang hold on let me put my shit and my crap put my crap on But that's not how this works. <coughs> Ugh, pardon me. Oh, God. So no camouflage, we just have watch. You fight good, but you're boring. A block, a lunge, all with a shield in your hand. Where's the fun in that? Just imagine, hit one in the ear, the other in the jaw, and punch the third one so hard he sees above the clouds. If it weren't for my shield, the whole party would spend all we have on healing potions. You like cracking skulls, and I'm perfectly content with that. You better let me watch your back. It'll be a lot safer for you. would be nice, don't you think? Let's rest before we go in. And now we can enter the trading post.
And this will probably be after this is probably where I'm gonna stop. So that the Lich can keep up his I don't see anything. From here on, I will probably turn off the recording and then allow the Lich to take over so he can run his run. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All according to plan. Team Raffle Stomp. You have nothing to fear. I'll deal with the bandits for you. I'll go look around and see what be what other things we can use to help slow them down. In due time. Something to really slow their butts down. Potatoes? Hmm, potatoes. That is not, not something far. useful at the moment, though. Ooh, level up. Fighter! Yay, fighter! God, these negatives. And again, I'm not surprised. Weapon focus. Long sword. That'll help a good long time. Good bit. that which is helpful potions are also always good as it should be
<laughs> These nags. These terrible, terrible nags. Ooh, shield match is pretty good. Bard. There we go. I can focus. We're going to go with light crossbow. Hideous laughter, which is always a good one. Or it's a good one to use, not to have them used against you. Level up barbarian. Ability. Bear totem. Beast totem lesson. We're always good to have that. Here they come. We will prevail. Let us strike as one. That poor dude. All their shite. They'll take all their stuff. It's not really stealing if they're dead. In due time. Yay. All according to plan. I do all of that. Just a tear. 
tear shed by the land itself, the bitter sigh of nature. I am a nymph, the guardian of this area, a defeated guardian. Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. Aid, salvation. We have a common enemy, and long have I searched for someone who can defeat him. The one you call the Stag Lord. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the Stag Lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his servants. And not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil he brings. My forests and my flowers suffocate in this fog. Soon even I will vanish as the last ray of light fades at dusk. Mm. How can I help this you? This fog shrouds in tangled suffocates. If only I could learn how it was created. But my powers wane. I have barely the strength to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest lies an old house. And it echoes with the remnants of a strange power. The Stag Lord and his Druid were there. The fog hides this place from me. But I can point you to the bandit's camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there and listen to the echo. Catch the whispers. Search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, nature will breathe again. And you will be able to easily find your way to the fortress of our mutual enemy. Alright, I understand. I Very well. Fate, stranger. But our meeting seems more than a coincidence. Yay! Okay, so that's it for that. And that will be it for this video. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we will be back with the liches. Because we'll be doing a double upload with this. But anyway, we'll be back and welcoming the lich in his return. But at any rate, see you guys later. Check us out tomorrow, as always. Take care. Stay safe. Oh, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook as well. Sorry about that. I almost left off without informing you about that. Yeah, if you're not getting notifications from YouTube, you will always get notifications via our Twitter page and our Facebook page because I will always put links to the each and every video as it comes out. But thanks, guys. Hope you enjoy this channel. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Take care. And see you next time.